Let's find out uh, how our next guest is going to watch the Super Bowl. Joining us right now, the head coach of the fifth-ranked college basketball team in the nation, the San Diego State Aztecs. It is always a pleasure to welcome Steve Fisher to the show. Coach, uh, I know you've got a game to worry about on Saturday first, but I imagine you'll, you're will you a pretty good sports fan. I imagine you'll find time to watch the Super Bowl on Sunday. I was just going through with Angie, uh, my wife, uh, the commercials. I'm interested in all the commercials that we're going to have. <laughs> Did you know that it's four million dollars for a thirty-second spot? Man, that's like one month of your salary right there. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> that would cost you a lot. Hey, coach, it's great catching up with you. I mean, uh, I, I've I interviewed you so many times the last several years with the coaches' show, and you're always coming on our show. And of course, this year we haven't uh, talked to each other quite as often. So, I just wonder, are you having a good season? Is it going all right? Everything's going pretty good, <laughs> and, uh, Chris. We. Uh, we seem to be finding ways to attract attention and get 12,414 still coming to that building, so it's pretty neat. Coach, uh, let's look at the Colorado State game. You guys uh, got a win at Fort Collins earlier this year, and I know for a lot of fans that always just means, well, I assume then you can beat them much easier at home, but that's not always the case, especially in the Mountain West. I think every league uh, is unique. When you start playing conference games, you know one another backward and forward. You take away their strengths, and uh, this is a good team that we're playing, even though they're having them. If you look at a record, I believe they're 12-8 and eight now. Uh, they have two guys that can score on anybody. Uh, they have the second and seventh leading scorer in the league. They're like us. They're an exceptional offensive rebounding team, and – they play so very, very hard, so we anticipate another close, hard-fought game. That 10-point game really wasn't a 10-point game. It was close right to the end. I'll tell you one thing. There's a nice story in the paper today. I don't know if you saw it about Winston Shepard, uh, Coach, uh, and, and you bringing him along here the last couple of years, but I think he really kind of signifies what your team's been all about this year. Everybody stepping up a little bit, improving their game a little bit, maybe more so with some players than others, but from where these kids were last year to where they all are this year, and that's Thames, and that's Shepard, and that's O'Brien, and that's everybody, they have all been better for you this year. And I think that it, I've said many times this year, I think your team is better than the sum of its parts. Do you agree? Uh, well, I think that might be disparaging on the individual parts a little bit. I, I really like our team. We're not real flamboyant and flashy, but we're pretty efficient and steady. Uh, Xavier Thames, as everybody knows, is playing as well as any player in the United States of America. Big, small, in between. He's playing at an elite level. Uh, Winston Shepard, who you referenced, is maybe statistically our most improved player. He and X, in terms of what he's done, both with his scoring, rebounding, uh, all of the things. And the addition of Josh Davis has been huge to this team. He was just what we needed, uh, a big, strong, aggressive, uh, dynamic rebounder who had no ego, has no ego, and plays immensely hard. And uh, J.J. O'Brien uh, so often is a forgotten guy, but he can't be. He's really good. And you throw Skyler in there, who's much improved, and the best depth we've had since we've been here, it's a good team. Really terrific piece, Coach, by uh, Mark Siegler, who does a great job covering your team for the UT San Diego on Winston Shepard and uh, kind of the change in attitude over the last year. Uh, it seemed like there were some difficult moments last year, maybe things that we weren't quite aware of. Can you talk about his, his kind of evolution mentally and emotionally and uh, maturity-wise from last season to this season? I think, Ben, it's ongoing. It's, we're still in the process. Uh, a year ago, sometimes Winston was his own worst enemy in terms of frustration and being over-anxious, trying too hard, thinking about scoring a little bit too much, uh, worrying about the last play. And he's made immense strides mentally. And the nice thing is he's got got room to grow, both from that standpoint and also the the, involved, the revolution or the evolution of his game physically. Uh, getting a lot better, 
and he knows it. Uh, he's able to get back on track when he has his moments, and he's been so invaluable to so valuable to the growth of this team. Uh, and that's what guys are supposed to do. They're supposed to grow, mature, uh, develop when they go away to college, whether you're an athlete or a non-athlete. And Winston is doing that as well as anybody. Coach Steve Fisher is with us. Aztecs Colorado State coming up tomorrow, 4 o'clock at Viejas Arena. Aztecs will be shooting for their 18th consecutive win. I mean, this winning streak and the rankings going up every week, Coach, and now number 5 in the country. It's got all of us running away with all kinds of great ideas and sweet 16s and visions of Final Fours and things like that. How are you keeping your team and your players and this whole group in the moment right now to make sure that you have to you know, continue taking care of business each and every week? Chris, we have embraced uh, the fact that they're talking about us and that we have gotten ranked and steadily risen up in the ranks. We talk about it. And we say this is, what, this is why you came here and this is what you want in order to stay here or move forward you have to do one thing, continue to win. And how do you win? You come into practice every day determined to get a little bit better, not thinking about rankings when you go on the practice floor, but saying, what do I have to do to be a better teammate? How can I get better? How can we get better collectively? And they've done a good job of that. Uh, they they enjoy the, the attention, and we've talked about you cannot allow it to be a distracting, distraction, but embrace it and, and enjoy people talking about San Diego State basketball locally and nationally. It's, it's, it's neat, neat for all of us. And, and, Coach, they're talking about you again as well. I just saw another tweet from a national writer uh, touting you for another Coach of the Year award. You just won a national Coach of the Year award three years ago. And I know, Coach, you cloak yourself in that Midwestern modesty, and rightfully you give a lot of credit to your assistants and the players. I'm not expecting you to go all Richard Sherman on us, but I would like you to just kind of speak a little bit about your your own success and what you feel like you, you do to contribute to the success of the program. Well, you know, when you win, everybody notices. And I tell our players, when you win, everybody's boat rises, and that includes me. <laughs> and when you win, they talk positively about you. So that comes with, uh, with what we do. I think that the head coach gets too much recognition when you're on a 18, 17, 18 game win streak and too much blame when you lose a couple of close games. Uh, so I've done it a long time. I, I know that uh, we've got a staff and a, and a group of people that have been involved in this program that have all played integral roles, and uh, I know I'm a part of it, but I'm just a part of it, like everyone. If you get thinking you're, you're the, the person that, that creates everything, then you're in trouble, whether you're a player, or whether you're a coach, whether you're a fan, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to just keep plugging along and uh, we're hoping that we can we can win the next one and then after the next one we want to win the next one and so if, you, if we win we'll all get uh, talked about coach i'll tell you one thing uh we thank you for everything you've done uh, as a san diego state grad we thank you for everything you've done and uh congratulations another fantastic season you've got working right now thanks for joining us it's always good catching up with you good luck tomorrow and uh we look forward to uh, chatting with you again soon Thank you, Chris, Ben. Appreciate you having me on and continued success with your show. Thanks, Thanks Coach.